how a bloody stone fell from heaven. How does a stone fall from where the Creator is sitting down? How can a, a God come down be a man and die? We'll explain that to you. No. How did Adam come down in the first place? Did we explain to you? We just did. You don't how did Adam? Explanation. No, well, try you got, again. You got your own explanation. We got our own explanation. I'm not fighting you. Don't, you. You, you, don't, you don't agree with our, our own explanation. He's trying to tell you what Allah means in the Quran. You don't agree with that. You no, go, no, no, we agree no. with what Allah means you in the go, Quran. Wait, you go, we agree with that. You don't. We you, just seen it. Allah and No, you agree because, with that. Because, let's talk okay. to you. In the person in the, in, the person in the cave that was talking, that was talking to Muhammad was not Allah. Number one, it was a demon in there. How do you know it was demon? Well, did he identify himself before are he you, almost killed Muhammad? Are, are you are you calling Gabriel uh, uh, angel Gabriel demon? Absolute no. Which angel Gabriel? Yeah, absolutely. Which angel? Yeah. Show me where he the said his name is God. Show me where the he introduced himself. You just you if you have been show caught, me you have been caught on tape. Oh, mama. You said show me where Gabriel introduced himself to show Muhammad. Me where, show me where. Show me. Show me where he did that. Listen, listen, yeah. I am Jibreel. No, no, wait, wait. No, just show us. It would, it would no, no, raise wait, a lot of brother, doubts. Wait. Then we can move to the next question. No, if I show you. Show me you wait, where show he you. introduced himself. No, you wait. Where he came to you and said, look, hi, my name is so-so. I'm going to choke you now and make you read. <laughs> you wait, you wait. I'm going to choke you a little bit, then make you read. But here's the introduction of myself. I came to Moses and I choked him a little bit. No, no, no. No, no, you chose to pray there. I'm, I'm talking here. Oh, okay. You ain't gonna stop my talk because you're praying. I'm doing my own prayer here too. My creator is so great. And his name is EA. I was here first. It's on film. You can't come and censor anything. Brother, come down. Come down. Well, but I ain't your, I ain't your brother. <laughs> you're, you're lunatic dogs. Are you it's not that? nice. Is it nice when Muhammad said kill the Jews and chase them into the river? Is it nice that the last day of judgment shall not come until all the, all the Jews, the Israelites, are chased into the desert and uh, the stone will be crying out to say, oh look Muslim, here is a Jew hiding behind the stones. Well, is that nice? Well, you can smack us up, but the truth won't disappear. I'm not the one. I'm not the one killing people up in Iraq right now. No, you can, you can, you can kill us. It don't matter. You can smack us up. It don't matter. But will that make the truth go away? I am your sacrifice. When you're ready, let me know. Yeah, you take me out when you're ready. But the truth won't disappear. Your lies won't disappear. It's in Somali, in Iraq, in Iran, in Syria, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan. Even your scholars are talking about it. Why are you, why are you looking at me? Because I'm black? Black teachers ain't welcome, right? Especially Negro types. You're mad, you're insane. A horde of, of demons. If you want to teach, show us from here peacefully and show us smack down, smack down by teaching, not by threatening. If he's so great, why can't I have a representative here? And if he's so great, why did he make himself so obscure? So diabolic. So diabolic, they have to kiss a stone and then say, well, it's just there. It don't mean that we're doing it. What are you doing then? Because where I come from in Africa, they're kissing a stone. You're looking at me. They're kissing a bloody stone, pouring oil on it, pouring palm wine in it. But when they do it in Africa, you call us pagans. Back there, they call us pagans for kissing a stone, pouring libation, and circling anything. It's, it's paganism. When we now come to Arabia, see you doing the same. You say hey, paganism. It's because the stone fell from where Allah was sitting down on the throne. Well, Allah must be careless if a stone is falling from his domain. And only one stone managed to fall. Only one. But when the one in Africa, when we say it fell, they say, no, you're liars. Black Negroes can't have no stone falling from no heaven. Only white Arabs can have a stone to kiss. As long as it's there. Well, the Shias, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't listening to that bullshit anymore. The Shias build their own Kaaba. Yeah, the Shias have their own Kaaba now. Yeah, they've got their own Kaaba and they're kissing their own stone too. 
Let's go to their own cover right now. Type it up. You see some theme there. Uh, and that's all right. I want yeah? to refresh your memory a little bit. Don't you refresh. Do, show the people the video. You do, you do know right now, there's, you do know there's problems between Sunnis and Shia. So obviously, a Sunni was bored at home and made such a video. There you go. That's Sorry, that's your fault, sir. Well, I'm the one who gave you the phone. Oh, sorry. You need to... Uh, no, where's your watch, manners? I watch. Where I is your manners? All right, well... Give it back I see, Muslims like, give don't back even have manners. Give me the phone, brother. Give me the phone. You don't have manners. You only talk, talk, talk. Simple things you don't know how to do. He'll give it back to me. That's it. Me and him is between me and him. Cool. But even though he doesn't know you. That's none of your business. Are you going to get back to, to your business? Yeah, comment on this, on this Kaaba in Iran by no the comment. Shias no who comment. number in their millions. I've got no comment because I've... Why do you think I'm crazy think, if they're crazy? I think that's a bullshit video. Well, somebody could say the same about the Mecca and Kaaba. It was never a Kaaba there before. It was in Yemen. Yeah, when it was in Yemen, why do you take it away, bring it back to Mecca, start doing the same thing, and when they bring... Tunisians got one there as well. You go. now Have they now got their own? Well, you see, now Islam is growing, isn't it? Now every country will Islam is growing. It's crazy. Thank you. It's crazy. There's only one, and that's in Saudi Arabia. That's it. Whether now tell me something. Or... Islam is for the whole world, right? Yeah, obviously. Why is it only in Arabic language? I'm sure the Quran has been translated. Well, they say the, the translated version ain't good enough. Who said that? People always say that. Well, that's... that's why we bring two at least. Because even down here, in this one, they're still not sure what they're doing. And I can put Muslims on the test right now. It's something I wanted to do all the time. You don't know what you're doing. You're, some, you're just liars. You're what they call um, repeaters. You just repeat the same BS all the time. So are you. No, we're going to try. I'm going to take three, so three learned Muslims now. Read for me the English and translate it into the Arabic. And write it down. And we'll hold it up and compare it. Now, we're going to take... Since you brought that word, we want you to read it in Arabic and tell us the meaning. I don't want to be on a fucking YouTube, okay? Look, you're not hearing what I'm saying, Robert. Take up this challenge. The Muslims always say, bring us a challenge like this. I'm saying, do a challenge like this too. But well, you're going to get different answers for the same Exactly! Thing. Now, no, how... Language. Brother, you're not, you're, not, you're not listening to me. I know, I'm not fighting anything you said, but I want you to hear my point. I don't know if you understand my point. I think I do. You sure? You look like Manchester United fan. Right, <laughs> you will never understand Chelsea. <laughs> never. It won't happen. All right, Chelsea. Now, we're going to make it happen, practically, so we can check. I want the best learned Muslims, or three of them, who speak English and speak Islam. Yeah? Arabic. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the correction. <laughs> who speak Arabic. Because I know the Arabic in, um, in, um, in uh, Egypt ain't the same as in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Arabic down in Sudan ain't the same as up in Arabia. Yeah, Arabia. So which one is it? The classical Arabic. The classical. Yeah, yeah. Everything classical is called GMO. Genetically modified organisms. That's what the classical Arabic is. The real Arabic language, they won't even let it breathe. The real Arabic language, they will not let it breathe. The real Arabic is with the black people. All you Turks come along. Yeah, you can run away. <laughs> but when we ask you a question, you won't answer. <laughs> You're going red, black, and blue right now. Let me know when you land. It's funny. One day I came down here and I said Jesus Christ was black. The Muslim burst out laughing. And I'm like, well, you're an Arab. You should be happy he's black. At least he ain't white. But no, he has to fight for his white slave master. That Jesus is, Jesus is white. The Quran says so. I said, show me where. Um, well, he was Jewish. Well, show me where Jewish means white. Um, uh, well, then problems start. Exactly what we're saying. We say all the prophets were all black, all of them, including Muhammad. It's a black man. Yeah. But why they put the Kaaba up in Mecca? The Kaaba should be down in black Yemen or black Sudan. 
and let's see the difference in Islam. But when it's up there in white Arabia, where you lot feel like you're something else, you don't feel like black people. 